Hello all. So today we are going to discuss about proportional controller. Initially we will go through an example to introduce the logic of uh, the concept of uh, proportional controller. Uh, we have here a bird snack problem where the bird is shown here and the snack is shown here by a circle. See uh, in, in red color it is marked as snack and the line of vision of bird is shown by a red colored line. Now the reference position for the snack is this line of vision which is Y reference. Okay, so if the snack is at some other position then it has to be uh, moved to this particular position so that the bird will eat it. Okay, so suppose we have a snack moving system with us which is shown in the uh, block diagram shown here. GP is the snack moving system. So we need to model the transfer function for uh, the snack moving system. The output of the system is the actual position of the snack which is moved by an input U which is given to the snack moving system. So this is U and if we want we will install a controller. As of now we are just modeling the uh, transfer function for the snack moving system. Now what is the command signal here? It is Y reference. It is a reference position. The reference position is on the line of vision of the bird. OK, now pushing the snack so that it reaches the line of vision of hen. I mean here the bird is hen. OK, line of vision of hen and it will eat it. OK, so in uh, the bird in the, uh, the for the snack moving system. Um, if a force is applied to the snack. A frictional force is acting against the input, right? So suppose our our uh, force is U. OK, our force is uh, this force is represented as U. Then minus B Y dot B is the frictional coefficient and Y dot is the velocity. Y is the position. OK, so this this B Y dot acts against the input. This is equal to mass into acceleration. OK, acceleration is Y double dot. So this is a physical uh, differential equation which governs the snack moving system or the or this particular system. OK, now um, when we take the Laplace transform for this um, equation, you will get uh, uh, capital U minus B into S into capital Y equals M S squared into capital Y. So uh, when you take Y outside and when you move the BSY term to the RHS, you are getting U equals MS squared plus BS into Y. Now if you want to find the transfer function for the snack moving system, you can take Y by U, right? You can evaluate Y by U. So Y by U is 1 by MS squared plus BS, 1 by MS squared plus BS. Now if you want to make the coefficient of S squared 1, then it will become 1 by M whole divided by S squared plus B by M into S. This is GP in the in the block diagram. It is shown as the transfer function of the snack moving system GP. OK, now uh, what are the poles here? S equal 0 is one pole. When you equate the denominator to 0, S squared plus B by M into S equals 0, you will get S equals 0 and S equals minus B by M. Now this system may or may not be stable. Um, that depends on the location of poles because the poles may not be always on the uh, left half plane, but we want to drive the system um, with the desired dynamics by installing a controller. So now we install the controller GC. OK, so GC is the transfer function for the controller. Um, now what is our requirement? Here the requirement is that if the snack position is below the line of vision, then the input should be such that or, or the force should be applied upward right the snack should be moved upward so the position the, the change in position should be like this okay now if the snack actual snack position is uh, on top of the uh, line of vision then the input should be given uh, by the snack uh, um, driving system to the snack uh, in the downward direction so that it, it can be um, positioned on the line of vision so based on the error the direction of input is going to change it should change right so uh, what is the error here y, y reference minus y actual position is y command signal is y reference now if the 
position of snack is on the bottom of the line of vision then y reference minus y is positive then error is positive right and suppose if the snack position is actual snack position is on top of the line of vision then y reference minus y is negative then error is negative so when error is negative you should be in another direction when error is positive you should be in the opposite direction right now suppose we install a proportional controller then the input u is proportional to the error that means the proportional gain is k some constant k so instead of gc we substitute here k okay now k into error becomes u now if error is positive u is positive error is negative u is negative so basically uh, the the amplification of error or the scale down of error is happening because of k uh, that depends on the value of k and also the direction of input is also um, uh, i mean i mean based on the error it is also reflected on the input okay so that is what we are going to do now we come to the controller side the proportional control suppose u be k into error where error is y reference minus y if below the reference line error is positive and if above the reference line error is negative so the sign reflects on the input u as well okay now force equals constant into error force is the input given to the snack by the snack moving system which is equal to a constant into error now we know that the input u equals e into k error into a constant now we are taking the laplace transform so capital u equals capital e into k capital k which implies u by e equals k so this is the transfer function for controller so gc of s we substitute here as k gp we already know we have already derived it this is 1 by m divided by s squared plus b by m into s now what is the closed loop transfer function here this is a unity feedback system right gc gp divided by 1 plus gc gp right gc gp divided by 1 plus gc gp okay now gc we know it is k gp also we know we have evalu evaluated it so based on that we are evaluating this so k into 1 by m divided by s squared plus b by m into s is on the numerator and in the denominator it is 1 plus gc gp which is 1 plus k by m divided by s squared plus b by m into s now if we multiply for simplification if we multiply numerator and denominator with s squared plus b by m into s then it will give you k by m divided by s squared plus b by m into s plus k by m okay now this is the transfer function for the snack moving system which is which is gp okay now we got gp also gc is k now we have uh, the k value in the denominator so basically if we vary the value of k um, uh, this this changes the dynamics of the system because basically it changes the location of the poles Uh, because here the characteristic equation is s squared plus b by m into s plus k by m equals zero, right? So if if you vary the value of k, so basically if we vary the proportional uh, controller gain, then the location of poles is different. Okay, so this decides the dynamics of the system. If we want the desired dynamics, accordingly the proportional controller should be tuned, right? Now, uh, so two things uh, happen here. One is based on the um, error the the sign of error the direction of input is changing right and based on the magnitude of the error the magnitude of the input is also changing right that is what happens with the proportional controller in the next lecture we will move on to integral and derivative control thank you